when you have a workbook with a large number of sheets. It's very useful to create a list of sheet names as a table of contents with forward and backward navigation. I am Nabil Murad. Some time ago, I created three tutorials to show you how to extract a list of sheet names either by using classic functions or by using Power Query or by using VBA. You can watch these tutorials by clicking on the links in the description below the video. In this tutorial, I create the same functionality using a new dynamic array function, the text after function, which is way easier. So let's have a look. In this workbook, I have 21 sheets and I created an index worksheet in which I extracted in column A a list of sheet names. I also created a forward and backward navigation. So if I click on Nabil, it will take me to the corresponding worksheet. I also have a backward navigation. So if I click on back to home, then it takes me to the index worksheet, my table of contents. Now let's build this project from ground up in Excel. Here is my starting file. It has 21 worksheets and in the index worksheet, I'm going to extract a list of all the sheet names, the current sheet names and any sheet names you add in the future. So I start by using one of the Excel 4 macro language functions, which requires creating a defined name. To create a defined name, I go to the formulas tab of the ribbon and on the Formulas tab, I click on Define Name. In the Define Name dialog box, I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it My Sheets. And the function that I'll be using in the Refers To box is Get.Workbook. So I type equal Get.Workbook and I open bracket. This function will return information about the workbook. Depending upon a number you provide, the number should be between 1 and 38. If you type number 1, that means I want a list of worksheet names. Then I'll be typing 1. There is also a second argument. If omitted, it means I'm looking at the same workbook. So the function is simple. Equal get.workbook number 1. I close the bracket and I'm done. What does this function return? If I go to cell A2 and I type equal my sheets. I can see it in the IntelliSense list of Excel that I selected. And when I hit enter, it will be returning a horizontal array of worksheet names preceded by the workbook name. So when I hit enter, I get the workbook name in square brackets followed by the worksheet name. Well, I don't want a horizontal array. I want it as a vertical array. And that's easy. I select the same function one more time in cell A2 and I wrap it in a transpose dynamic array function. So in the formula bar, I'm typing transpose. I hit the tab key and I close the bracket for the transpose function. When I hit enter, I would have switched the horizontal array into a vertical array. Look at the pattern. I have the workbook name in square brackets followed by the worksheet name. I just want to keep the worksheet name. I just want to keep everything after the closing square bracket. There is a set of 14 new text functions recently released by Microsoft. One of these functions is the text after function, and that's the perfect job for the text after function. In cell A2, I put it in the edit mode F2, and I want to wrap the transpose my sheets in a text after function. And I type text after. I hit the tab key. I click at the end. And here it asks me what's the delimiter you want. I want any text after the closing square bracket. Then I type in double quotation, closing square bracket, double quote, and I close the bracket for the text after function. When I hit enter, I would have extracted an array of all the worksheet names in column A. To create the forward and backward navigation, I'll be using a hyperlink function. I created in column B the forward and backward navigation 
So if I click on the worksheet Rachel, it takes me to the corresponding worksheet. If I click on Back to Home, it takes me to the index worksheet. You can learn how I created the forward and backward navigation by watching the corresponding tutorial. The link is in the description below this video. And if you enjoyed this training video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.